Hello Android users, today I'm going to show you how to play Doom 3 on your Android device. Check it out here in the Play Store at DII4A, source port of Doom 3. Now previously I had a video explaining how to install this via an APK file that came from the XDA Developers Forum. If you have that version installed, simply go to the Play Store link here and there'll be an update button. You can update to the latest version quickly and easily without changing anything on your device. If you're new and installing this for the first time, simply start by picking up your device, opening up the Play Store, and searching DII4A, and installing this application, and we'll be all ready to get started. The first thing to note about this app is it's very hard to run. You need at least a dual-core device with one gig of memory to run it on the lowest low lighting settings. If you don't have these minimum requirements, you probably won't be able to run this at all and they give you a big fat warning right here. I'd recommend having at least a quad core device with two gigabytes of memory. In addition, this version changes the interface so we no longer need to manually enter the different settings for the lighting and textures. It's all set up for you here and you simply need to check and uncheck it. If you have problems running the game or performance issues, disable the lighting and the textures here. In order to play this, you'll need to have the Doom 3 game installed on your PC computer. Once you have the application installed on your device and the game installed on your computer, simply plug your device into the computer and we're going to transfer the data over to the device. By default, it'll be located in the internal memory, which will show up as an SD card. You'll need to create a new folder. Call this folder DIII4A, all lowercase. Open this folder. This is the location all our game data needs to go into. I have the Doom 3 game installed on my computer in the default location of C program files, and Doom 3. This base folder here contains all the information we need to play the game. We simply copy this base folder into the DIII4A folder that we just created. Once all the game data is finished transferring, we'll be ready to open the game up and start it on our device. Now that all our data has finished transferring, we're ready to open the application from the device. The first time you open it up, you'll be greeted by these general options. By default, the high quality lighting will be disabled. You can enable it by unchecking this box here. I'd recommend having at least a quad core device with one gigabyte of memory, ideally two gigabytes of memory to run it on the high quality lighting settings. You can also play around with the compressed textures here and see what works best for you. The next menu over will have our controls. If you're using a mouse and keyboard, you'll want to hide the on-screen buttons and the mouse. Uh, you'll need root required for this. And further up here, we can configure the on-screen buttons. This is the default layout. If you click this bar at the bottom, you can get additional options. You simply drag them up you can move stuff around to your liking and then go back up and this is the way it will look on our screen. You can adjust the size and location. Once you're happy with that, check out your graphics settings. Now, I wouldn't recommend upping these unless you have a very powerful device. MSAA is a very high quality anti-aliasing setting and you don't want to put this stuff up too high. There it is here and resolution settings. Once you've got that all set up, you're ready to launch the game and get started. Here we are, ready to start up a game. Now if you've seen my previous video, you can compare this directly to that. I'm going to play the same levels and you can see how much the performance has improved. This is a full build. The last build was an RC2 build. Here we are in the actual gameplay. This is high quality lighting mode. In Doom 3, the high quality lighting is a very cool feature which makes a lot of depth. One of the really incredible things about this game engine. And you'll notice a drastic difference once we disable it.
Oh no, a walker. Oh, hey, handsome. How's my hair? Okay, looking good. Yep, yep. Ooh, what's that? A little texture problem there. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Cutting in. Doom 3 was one of the first games to actually get these little menu systems right, where you could click and navigate little menus. Very innovative game for its time. See what we've got in the inventory. Ooh, now that's what I like. Oh, come on. Don't know if I should kill him or give him some donuts. why I love a chainsaw. <laughs> Bitch slapped. This has been the high quality demo. Here's that same scene, but in the low quality lighting. You notice there's a very drastic visual appearance difference. The frame rate has really stabilized though. Oh, this is what wasn't working before. The low quality really gives you a better gameplay experience, but it's certainly not as dynamic.
Jack Marine, your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul Now you can see the performance is much improved. Highly recommend this for dual core devices with one gig of memory. Here we are at the monorail. Stop freaking me out. These games were great. Really great ambiance. Freak you out, then kill you. Who are you? What are you doing, buddy? Buddy? I was waiting here on the train for my partner. He went to investigate what was going on, but he never came back. And now I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at Site 2. I bet they're somehow connected with those things in the Delta Complex. <laughs> You were saying something about the Delta the Complex? The Delta Complex is safe. You're crazy if you're going there. Protection. In the event of an emergency stop, Marsec will be dispatched immediately for your safety. Have a nice now this day. part of the demo had a really low frame rate the first time I played it with the RC2 build. So it seems to have improved there. This is a good performance part to check out. Warning, air lock malfunction. Please Look, contact I don't think this train is safe either. Repairs. We don't know what's and have a nice day. Well, you just stay here then and have a little party. I'm staying on the train until we get to Delta. Then you're on your own. Uh huh. No, no, no. So you can con compare this directly with my older video. Frame rate was really hard here. Yep, seems pretty hard still. Going down under 10. So it's still a little erratic, but it's a little more stable now. This same author has open source demos, or actually full games. You just need to apply your own game data for Quake 1, 2, 3, and Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I have videos explaining how to play all of them. You can check them out. There you have it, Doom 3, the most intensive game on Android. If you have a Tegra 4 device, this will probably run very well for you.
Please subscribe to see the latest in gaming updates on Android. The same author has source ports for Quake 1, Quake 2, Quake 3, and Return to Castle Wolfenstein, all of which I have great videos explaining fully how to install and play. Check them out on my page. Please subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching, everybody.